All right, what's up everybody? I just wanted to get on here real quick to go over um, the shims that people have a lot of questions for are on. Uh, I sell quite a few of these. Uh, these are a very, very popular product. Uh, so what, what, why people use these shims, uh, they simply slide right over the strut. Uh, so when you remove the strut, you slide this over and this is a quarter inch shim which actually creates about a half inch of, of lift so keep that in mind uh, because most tundras they have what's called a tundra lean so if you're looking at the front end of the truck tip of my fingers the the tundra leans on the driver's side they say that's because of the gas tanks on that side plus the driver uh, which causes the tundra to have the lean so this is the best way to get rid of that lean in providing a little bit of lift to get rid of that uh, so that's number one so if your tundra has the lean get this you don't have to really do an alignment if you're just adding the uh, spacer but um, um, if you want you can get an alignment after it's totally up to you something I would recommend is getting the um, a lifetime alignment or um, a year package or whatever a year alignment uh, because you know if you do modifications to the truck you can uh, take it back there and have it aligned over and over and over again so uh, keep that in mind um, uh, most shops will do that so you go to a three inch left and you're like I need more and I want six inch and like you don't have to keep paying for alignments you pay once a little bit more for an alignment it's like almost like an alignment and a half and you basically get it for a whole year or, or whatever it is so second reason people use this um, you with the Bilstein 6112s and 5100s top setting, it only provides 2.5 inches of lift, which is actually kind of a weird amount of lift. So a Tundra from the factory, it's got uh, a rake. Um, so what most people want to do is they want to raise the front up two inches and that's a perfectly leveled Tundra. You raise it up any higher, you have to lift the rear to make it level again. So keep that in mind whenever you are um, uh, lifting your, your truck two inches is perfectly leveled uh, three inches then you have to lift the rear so there's about um, you know a, a two to one ratio I guess of, of lift so um, so what most people like to do is a three one lift that's a three inch perfectly leveled truck with a one inch rear uh, if you want to keep that a little bit of rake if you run a toolbox or you run uh, heavy stuff in the, in the uh, or you tow a lot you know, people want the one inch of rake so the truck isn't squatted whenever they put any weight in there because Tundra Springs are notorious for being just super soft, super weak uh, because they're built for comfort, you know, not necessarily a work truck, but uh, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, either way, so like I said, uh, as I was saying, the second reason people uh, use these because the Bilstein 6112s and 5100s is a very affordable uh, a very good quality shock for the price. The 5100 is more of the lower level, um, but um, and then the 6112 is more of a higher level. Um, it's the 6112 is kind of a mid range between uh, a cheaper kit and a higher end coilover kit. So it's about in the middle. So if you're on a budget and you want a quality shock, definitely do the 6112. It comes with new springs as well, slightly heavier than stock. Um, and uh, 5100s do not, they just come as just a shock. Uh, so you have to transfer over your springs and your top hats to that uh, 5100. 6112s, again, it comes with a spring, you, have, you just have to get top hats, and I sell them, I assemble and ship them out. So you pay a hundred and like a hundred, a little over a hundred dollars, and I assemble and ship them to you, so you don't have to mess with any spring compressor or anything like that. Um, they're, they're ready to bolt right in, you're good to go. So keep that in mind. Uh, when you uh, when you do order them, uh, the the hundred dollars is is, is going to pay for the shipping because now I usually ship stuff from the manufacturer to your doorstep, but you can uh, now I'm going to have to ship it to me, assemble them, and then it also covers the top hats. You know I have to pay for those as well, and then the the rest is the assembly fee for uh, labor. So um, it keeps you from uh, messing with the dangerous uh, spring compressor. I have a very high end dealership grade uh, spring compressor, so. Uh, they, they get shipped out uh, fast. So like I said, the 6112 is max out at 2.5 inches of lift. Like I said, you want like a two or a three. So 2.5 is kind of a weird area. So this is where you gain that lift. So that half inch. So if it goes to 2.5, then this is gonna get you to three inches of lift. So um, not only that, 
people do three of these. So you do two on the driver's side, one on the passenger. So you're going to get rid of the Tundra Lean. Also, you're going to uh, raise the front up to three inches of lift. So you're getting uh, the, the best of both worlds and uh, you're just stacking two of these. They simply, uh, here I have a OME, OME strut here that I assembled with uh, new top hats. You take the uh, top hat here, it has a notch in it. The notch basically goes to the front and it slides right over like that. I have the nuts on there, but you, obviously you put it under the nuts. Um, but yeah, as you can see, perfect fit slides right over that. So um, again, the notch there, um, it says out on the top of the, on the top of that there, you can kind of see it and you just slide it over, put it on in the truck, put the nuts on the top, bolt it in. Um, very, very uh, straightforward, very easy to do. Uh, these are, I also assemble and ship these OMEs. Um, it's a good, it's also a good budget, uh, strut as well. So, um, either way, if y'all have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll answer them as fast as I can. Um as best as I can if I don't know the answer I will literally look it up um, uh, for you because I don't know the answer to everything um, but if you have any questions or uh, regarding any pricing or anything always uh, email me message me comment below uh, thank you guys for watching this is just a quick no cut fast um, video and uh, we'll catch you guys next time